Right, it's the third day of the cleanup operation and I've got to get through and clear all this rubbish out, all this broken glass going all the way back there, out behind the shed down the side of the shed and round the front of the shed and under all this overgrown mess is a load of broken glass so uh, that's not to keep me quiet for today you can actually see the rubbish on Google Maps so this gives you an idea of how much I've got to clean up well it's a beautiful day a sane person would just uh, Go out and sit in the garden with a cup of tea or a glass of something, but I've got all this to deal with. All this glass calls for extra thick, heavy duty gloves because I'm not touching that with normal, normal garden gloves. They'll cut that, all that glass will cut right through it, so heavy duty gloves. Well, they don't recommend keeping tools in the, on the allotment because things do get pinched, but uh, I got a little, these super cheaper, the only thing is th three quid for the pair that I can leave on the allotment and if, the, if it gets nicked I mean they're flimsy so if I've got heavy duty work to do I'll bring the tools in but just to keep have something on the allotment I'll just bought these cheaper ones if they get nicked it's only three quid by the shed there's a load of larger pieces of grass, um, glass that uh, I might be able to cut to replace these broken frames so that would be handy if I can do that as long as I manage to move them and not break them but once I started uh, taking these out there's quite a few decent panes of glass Unfortunately, they're like buried uh, in between a lot of uh, mud and uh, brambles and things. So they are a bit of a pain to remove, but it should be all right. We'll find a use for them. I managed to clear out all the glass that was in front of the shed, and I've lightly dug. The top layer of soil and uh, try to find every last scrap of glass. I won't have got it all but I've tried to get as much as I can. There's all sorts of rubbish as well, rusty old nails, hacksaw blade, hinge, tools, all sorts in there. God knows what I'm going to find when I dig the rest of the plot up. Now all that's left is to tackle all this lot. Well, it's the fourth day of the cleanup. I've got to clean up all along this fence, all this lot, all this broken glass. Mysterious white stuff, don't know whether it's chalk or lime or whatever, but I'm going to get rid of it all the way down the side of the shed, which you can't see because it's dark. And that's going to, that's going to take me more or less all day.
it's taking so long because I have to actually dig to find the bits of glass because of you know pieces like that are completely buried and when I put my fork into the ground and I feel around the edges that I can find the piece and then I have to carefully dig it out so I don't break it it's going to take bloody hours and when you do move stuff Mr. Worm comes out and says, Oi, what are you doing to my house? Yeah, he's not happy to have dug up all that glass around his. Had a nice little warm place. <laughs> He'll be alright. A lot of rubbish like beer bottle caps and tin cans and plastic. I mean, they've obviously shown more respect for what they drink than uh, they've shown f uh, for this allotment. Of course, once I remove the bag of white stuff, there's a A bag of concrete and a broken old pipe, clay pipe. God knows what they're doing here. And when I've removed the bag of concrete, underneath it, more plastic, more glass. Um. And it never ends. Every time I think I've got down to the clear ground, there is more grass, more glass, and more ruddy glass everywhere. Good grief. Not small pieces either. Come. Ideal. And then there's little bits like this all over the place. And you dig, and you dig, and all you find is more glass. More and more and more glass. This rusty old tub has got glass both under it and on top of it. How have they managed that? I was just digging the side of this, clearing the side of this bin and found a, an old shovel. It's amazing the sort of things people lose. Well, I mean, this is what I've got from about a square metre. I've had to dig to halfway through to Australia to get to the end of the glass. And uh, I was told to not, not to make these bags too big or too heavy. Um, so uh, I've uh, run out of these heavy sacks 
I'll have to go and get some more. And I've still got that lot to go through, so uh, I'll have to give up on the cleaning the glass for today and uh, clear out some of the other rubbish. <laughs> 